Okay, so if you saw the first half of our show, if you haven't, go to our YouTube because we talk in depth in regard to Alec Baldwin and his response to the police. But now we're going to get to some additional body cam footage from the Rust movie set. Also showed how the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, reacted moments after the shooting. So video shows Hannah, who's 24, being questioned by deputies. When asked if she's the film's armorer, she said, quote, I am, or at least I was. She also called herself a quote bleeping failure and said she messed up her entire career. Take a listen. Welcome to the worst day of my life. I can't believe Alec Baldwin was holding the gun. That's so so the sheriff's office also released video of an interview with the film's ammunition supplier who said Hannah Gutierrez Reed had asked for live ammo for a film she was working on prior to rest. He says he refused her request because live ammo is never allowed on set. What do you make, Tori, of Hannah's reaction? God, she just looks like a kid, doesn't she? She just looks, I would, she just, it just shocked me. She's 24 years old and it just, didn't feel like she was taking it that seriously. I mean, she's scrolling on her phone and kind of saying this is the worst day of my life. First of all, why does she have a phone if she's being held in some kind of I investigation, she can text anyone at any point. It just feels a little lackadaisical is all it is. Now her father is a famous uh, film armor for like Django Unchained, so she knows the drill of what should be done, but asking for live ammo is just an enormous red flag. I don't know if I'm comfortable with talking about what the father does because my dad's a mortician and I cannot embalm a body. Um, <laughs> you know, and I but, grew up around, you know, in funeral homes. But no one hired you to embalm a body. I understand that, but I think I think also that's where I'm like, you know, you hear about actors who kids whose kids become actors. That's very inconsequential. Like this is a very consequential field and it, it kind of begs the question why someone who clearly would have had so little experience just based on her age alone would have been given such an enormous responsibility, especially as the idea that union was not it wasn't a union production. Now I'm not absolving her of responsibility, but why wasn't that request flagged to begin with? Like, you clearly have someone who knew enough to flag that request, but didn't report it until after the fact. Like, there's a lot that doesn't make a lot of sense. I here. think that text message, because it was a text message between the ammunition um, expert and her when she was requesting for live ammo, and he claims he declined it. This was for the film right before prior. Now, some films have a culture where some of the actors and some of the crew will go off set and they will do target practice with live bullets. That's illegal. They're not supposed to, but it does happen on set. My theory is, is that she provided live ammunition. This is just my theory. She was clearly searching for it, according to the ammunition expert. She got that live ammunition and somehow it got mixed up with the rust mm -hmm. ammunition. That is my theory. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. That points to liability to me, right? Yeah. If I'm on set and someone says, hey, I'm, get me drugs, and I get them drugs, it's my responsibility. She brought live ammo onto the set. And allegedly. It, we allegedly. Don't know. Allegedly. And at 24 years old, if your father is in this business, which means you grew up in this business, 24 is not that young. Mm. You have to have some accountability. Again, this brings me to my point that I said earlier that the finger is starting to point away from Alec Baldwin. There was a chain of events, unfortunate as it was, that led to this situation. And as you go further down the chain, Alec Baldwin is less and less unless the actor. Unless he hired her to cut costs. We don't know that. That's just me. But, the, but the, unless he hired her to say, hey, get these guys some live ammo so we can shoot around set, then he's responsible. But, but if he didn't do that, she is responsible. But remember, that gun had gone off or discharged, we think, allegedly twice on set already. If you're the producer of that. But that's your job. That's her job. But you're the producer. You're on top of her and saying that's a crisis. You either fire her or you fix it. You're having set members walk off. There's an issue there with safety. Yeah. If I punch, I don't know. No, if I punch I someone in the you. face that's to, working yes. right here, it's our producer's fault? No, it would be, in my opinion, because they both. hired me? No, it would be both, in my opinion. I, I just, I yeah. think a lot of people want to blame Alec Baldwin as opposed to a young woman, and I get that. No, but it's I like, think, oh, no. I see what you're saying. You don't, I don't think, no, I think both are If we find out yeah. that text message, she went and got live ammunition, I 1000% blame her. I'm with you there. I am.